Cannabis has been the subject of so many jokes and stereotypes and so much propaganda that it's hard for some people to imagine that marijuana could be a legitimate medical treatment. Maybe you smoked some pot in college, or tried the brownie your nephew gave you, or you or a loved one may have overused cannabis and can't imagine how it could be medicine. But science tells us that cannabis is indeed just that. It's impossible to understand that cannabis is medicine without knowing something about the endocannabinoid system. Like that it exists, for instance. A quick PubMed search yields over 6,000 research studies on the subject. Problem is, most medical professionals don't study anything about the endocannabinoid system in medical school or continuing education, due in part to the outdated federal policy on cannabis prohibition. Cannabinoids, the chemical compounds in cannabis and other plants as well, interact with many parts of the body. Until the 1990s, we didn't know how exactly. Then researchers traced where a THC molecule landed and began to discover that we have a system in our body that regulates all the other systems through chemistry. The system in the body that interacts with plant cannabinoids was discovered, and then researchers found chemicals that our own bodies make that interact with that same system. It's called the endocannabinoid system, and the compounds we make in our bodies are called endogenous, or endocannabinoids. The endocannabinoid system is established in scientific literature. Researchers are finding that the endocannabinoid system is involved in balancing nearly every system of the body. It's interesting that even though the endocannabinoid system is established science, most healthcare professionals don't learn about it and still don't understand how cannabis helps people. Make sure you ask your doctor if they've studied the endocannabinoid system before you ask them if cannabis medicine is right for you.